Hair runs have always been very good money, but many other things in farming are also great money. So I wanted to make an extended farm run that makes you around 750,000 GP profit and takes 30 minutes or so to complete. I've also made this run to include your daily rewards such as free buckets of sand, battle staffs from Zaf, and so on that make you an additional 300,000 GP after the farm run. Finally, it's done in real time, so you can play the video in the background and simply listen like a quest guide whilst doing it yourself. But first, as always, there's a bond hidden within this video and the first person to find it, post the time and location of it below with their RuneScape name gets it. So to do this, all you're going to need is 68 farming. 200,000 GP of profit from this run is from Zamorak Graves, which requires Beloga's blessings from the Tithe Farm minigame. You don't have to include this in your run, but if you do, you'll need to stock up on those first. And also, if you're going to do the daily rewards from the Nightmare Zone at the end of the video, you'll also need some points stored there too. Start off by wearing your RD cloak for fast teleports. It's not necessary if you don't have one, but will require running further if not. You also want to wear a Charged Xerix Talisman, Magic Secators if you have them, as they increase your yield from patches by 5%, any gloves you have, and an Explorer's Ring, which again isn't necessary but saves you running further. You'll need at least 12 Saltpeter in the bank as well, which you can buy on the GE, and in your inventory you'll want to have a Bottomless Bucket with Ultra Compass in, you don't have to use the Bottomless Bucket, but it will help a ton with your inventory space. You're going to need a rune pouch for teleport on the standard spellbook. I use lore, fire, water and dust runes which count as both air and earth runes and only cost 7 GP just to save a little bit of space. A crystal teleport seed to teleport to Lita. Some GP, just a few thousand is enough unless you're going to do daily tasks too, in which case you'll need around 1 million GP. Next you're going to need a chronicle with teleport cards added. You can buy those in Draenor Market from Diango. You then need at least 200 Beloga's Blessings, which makes you harvest Zami Grapes instead of normal ones. Now, due to an update last week, this is bugged for me, and they aren't in the shop, so I've just put a normal blessing in there just as a reminder. You're going to need a Charged Ring of Wealth too, a Ring of Dueling, Charged Skills Necklace, Stamina Potion, 12 Jude Seeds, 12 Grape Seeds, 1 Belladonna Seed, 1 Drain of Mana Teleport Tablet, 8 Snapdragon Seeds, 1 Icy Basalt, and 1 Stony Basalt. You can take larger amounts of the seeds and basalt if you want, but that means banking more often. The run has been specifically designed to free up as much inventory space as possible at the start by using up these stacks first. If you're doing the daily tasks at the end, you'll also need either 30, 60, 120 or 250 noted flax, depending on your western diary completion. And finally, if this is your first time doing this run, you'll also need the following seeds, which only ever need to be planted once. 6 white lily seeds, which are planted next to some herb patches to make sure they never become diseased. 2 cactus seeds, once planted, these will never need to be done again as the cactus spines we pick grow back. 6 palm tree saplings and 5 white berry seeds for the exact same reason. That's everything that you need and once you're at this stage you should be able to now leave the guide on in the background whilst doing the run yourself at the same time. I'll also be saying the next area that you're going to be going to by about 5 seconds in advance, just in case you finish an area quicker than me. The first two locations require completion of the quest making friends with my arm, so if you haven't done it just skip past them to the ectophile hair patch. Start off by using your stony basalt to teleport to the troll stronghold hair patch, collect your herbs and note them using the leprechaun on the sun lounger. Once complete, use your Ultra Compost on the patch and plant another Snapdragon Seed. Next we'll be using the Icy Basalt Teleport and doing the exact same thing there. After this one is completed, we'll be using the Ectophile Teleport and running west to the hair patch just past the undead cows, using a dose of stamina on the way.
Harvest the hair patch here again and replant it. If you don't have a lily in the middle plot, make sure you use your lily seed on it to grow one, as it will make sure your herbs never die. The next teleport is going to be the Draenor Manor Teletelp. The Belladonna patch is just northwest of the teleport. You can use a Glory here, but it's a lot further and the tab only costs 2k. Harvest the Nightshade here, use some Super Compost and then plant another Belladonna seed. After that, use the Explorer's Ring teleport that you're wearing and run north, or if you don't have one, just run west to the hair patch from where you are. Farm the herbs again and plant a white lily seed if needed. The next area we're going to use the RD cloak that we're wearing and use the third option teleport to RD farm and there's another herb and lily patch here. After this one, use the Xerix Talisman that we're also wearing to teleport to Xerix Glade, then run west to another hair patch. Once this one is complete, run east for a little while until you get to the vinery. If you're skipping this part, I'll timestamp the next part below so you can go straight to it. You can bank your herbs and nightshade in the chest here just to free up a little bit of space. Harvest the grapes in the centre row of the vineyard, and there are 12 patches in total. As long as you have Vlogner's Blessing in your inventory, you will get Zamorak grapes instead of normal ones. Instead of compost here, you use Saltpeter instead. So take a couple out of the bank every two patches or so that you do. To replant, use the Saltpeter first, and then the grape seed. Repeat this for the next 11 using stamina potions as needed, or the ring that you're wearing to restore some energy.
When you finish those, teleport to the Grand Exchange and use the Spirit Tree in the northeast corner of the GE to travel to the second option, which is the Tree Gnome Stronghold. You can also bank your Beloga's blessings now if you want. Just east of the spirit tree is a fruit tree patch where you can collect 6 coconuts from your palm tree or plant a new palm tree if this is your first run. You always get 6 coconuts from the palm tree and you don't need to cut it down at the end as the coconuts just grow back over time. After you've done that use the spirit tree again but this time select the first option to the tree known village and run west. At the end in the southwest corner is a loose railing that you can squeeze through, then select travel on Elkoy and he will escort you out of the maze. Just to the southwest is another palm tree. When you completed this one, teleport to Ardy and run south to the dock. Right click on Captain Barnaby and select Brimhaven. Just south of where you land is yet another palm tree. When you've completed this one, right click Captain Barnaby again, but this time select Rimmington. East of this boat is a whiteberry bush, again this doesn't need clearing at the end, the berries grow back without needing to replant it. After this you can just teleport to Camelot and run east to the hair patch. I use the charter ships but to be honest it's probably just quicker to teleport. Running east from Camelot you'll see another hair patch where you should again have a white lily in the centre patch as well. After that go south east and follow the coast to the east where you'll see another palm tree. Next use your teleport crystal to Lita and farm another palm tree to the east. The next teleport is using your RD cloak again which you're wearing to the Kandarin Monastery where there's another whiteberry patch.
After this one we're going to use the Chronicle Teleport and just to the west on the other side of the Champions Guild is another Whiteberry Bush. Once harvested, run southeast from here a little way and you'll find a hops patch. If you stand on the east side, you can quickly note them with a the leprechaun as you get quite a lot from this patch. Once done, use your Ultra Compost and replant it and then teleport to Sears or Camelot and run northwest of the bank to the next hops patch and repeat. Next use your Ring of Well to teleport to Miscellanea and run all the way to the east for another bush patch. Use your Ring of Dueling next to the PvP arena, go outside the gated area and go south a little bit to a cactus patch. And this is another one that you don't need to dig up or replant at the end of.
Use the Watchtower Teleport to your nil, if possible, or to the Watchtower if you don't have that unlocked yet. The Dew Patch here is in the very center of your nil, just east of the Watchtower if you teleported there. Lastly, in the farm run, we have the Farming Guild Teleport. On the east farm, the Whiteberry Bush, and if this is the first time planting, you can also plant a White Lily here too. After that, in the same room, head slightly north to a cactus plant. Once you have all the cactus spines, leave this area to the room on the west where there's another hair patch. You can also plant an eyesore plant here which reduces the chance of disease of all crops. Lastly, if you have 85 farming, you can farm another palm tree in the northern section of the farming guild to collect another 6 coconuts. That's the end of the farm run part of the guide which should have made you around 750,000 GP. And next is a daily task which you can also do for extra money which only takes a few minutes. After you've farmed the last patch, you can teleport back to your nil and go to the west side by the house portal, right click on Bert in the house there and select Sand Bert. You'll then be given three buckets of sand that goes straight to your bank and depending on your achievement diary completion for the area depends how many you get. Next, either run east to the nightmare zone or use the minigame teleport, whichever you prefer. Right click on the rewards chest and buy as many herb boxes as you can. Then right click on any of them in your inventory and select bank all herbs, which will then send all herbs directly to your bank, one at a time. You can only get 15 boxes per day, so once you've done that, teleport to Varric Center, and just slightly northwest is Zaf's shop. Go in and click on the barrel in the northwest corner to buy battle stash for 7,000 GP each. 1,000 GP cheaper than you can sell them on the GE. Then teleport to Miscellanea and run west, go upstairs, collect your resources from the Kingdom of Miscellanea, and top up your balance.
Then teleport to Sears or Camelot and go to the flax field just south of the bank and don't forget your note of flax. Select exchange on the flax keeper and he will exchange your flax for bowstrings. You can then use your Xerox talisman to teleport to Xerox Inferno and in the building just to the northeast select claim on Tharus. You could also get free rune essence from Wizard Cromty, Ogre Arrows from Rance and 50 free runes in the Mage Arena and Deep Wilderness but I just don't think those are worth the time it takes. The farm run here will net you a profit of 750,000 GP in about 30 minutes as well as a good amount of XP. Unlike me you'll have Zamorak Grapes which are worth over 1000 GP each and the Nightshade whilst it isn't tradable, when used with a vial of coconut milk and poison ivy berries are added it makes weapon poison plus plus which are worth almost 4000 GP each and the ingredients cost next to nothing. The farm run can be done every 4 hours due to the time coconut berries and cactus spines take to grow back. The dailies make you an extra 250 to 325,000 GP depending on your achievement diary progress in just a few minutes meaning a daily run will make you over 1 million GP in around 35 minutes. Thanks for watching, if there's any other guides that you would like me to do, just let me know in the comments.